For a long time, this has been what the most popular mobile games in China look like. That's until very recently. Two games are getting wildly popular in China, and they are drastically different from previous bestsellers. This one comes from Japan, where you feed a frog that travels a lot. This one, called Evolver, is a Chinese game where you play a show producer who has romantic encounters with not one but four incredibly handsome guys. Many gamers are giving positive reviews. The plot, visual style, and dubbing are much better than other existing games. For my friends, those who are really fascinated with this game, most of them are single and、uh, they're not willing to spend too much time and effort to keep a relationship in reality. I have to take care of my ch- children and also do the jobs, and it's very busy. But this kind of game only takes me 15 to 20 minutes to play every day. So obviously, the game ticks many boxes of what female gamers are looking for. But here's the twist: the gameplay is based on using virtual carts. And if you grow fond of one particular character, which many avid players do, and you want to collect all of his carts, you need to—you guessed it—pay money. As I know, a lot of the new female, well, they never spend money in the game, but they did it the first time in Evolve Lovers. They spent money. And you draw cards from the, the whole pool. Oh, and you also want to share. See, I draw this card from from the pool, and you want to share it on your WeChat. Gamer Yang Xin spent 10,000 yuan within just three weeks of playing this game. According to analysts, this strategically designed mode of gameplay and its social media effects are what makes the game a money-making machine for the company that developed it, Nikki Games. Our monitoring indicates the card game genre is one of the most lucrative types of games. The takeaway here from the popularity of the game is that the industry is taking the female gaming community more seriously. Back in the days of PC gaming, it was mostly a boys' club. You needed to assemble a high-performing computer in order to play the best games. But now, most people own a smartphone. And today, the most popular mobile game in China, King of Glory, already have almost half of its players being female. Nikki Game says the Chinese female mobile gaming market needs to be further cultivated. If you click open any gaming news website, this is how they label different genres: battle games, war games, action games, and female games. For about 50% of our population, they only have one subsection. That's not fair. They deserve more games dedicated to them. However, there are things that developers should pay attention to. According to some gamers, girls have slightly different gaming habits than boys. For one thing, many girls might not have the same kind of die-hard loyalty to one particular game as many boys do. Female gamers usually have their own community. The community. The communities, well, these communities, well, they may play start from one game, and then they can transfer to another game. The most fascinating thing is for female gamers, and if one or two figure out, well, a new game is very fascinating, they will do their best to promote the game to other female gamers in that community. So the whole community changes to another game. Simply put. Fast-changing social media trends might affect the life cycles of new games. That means to stay ahead, developers will have to keep on innovating. Yang Chengxi, CGTN, Shanghai.